banned from the USA, you'll be banned from the USA, you'll be banned from the USA, you just don't understand how the hell that we play, you'll be banned from the USA, you'll be Dumb Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now I say my games, I still got some basketball to watch. But you know, I was just thinking about my man's name who rhymes with the USA, Turkey, Turkey Alashe, right? Guy who's bringing a lot of boxing all over the world. You know, I told you he's not gonna be liked in the USA after a while because you know he's just like from the outside looking in saying these are the fights that need to happen these are the best fighters let's get them to fight each other let's stop all this shenanigans you know and the USA in particular is accustomed to the shenanigans right a lot of if we didn't have the shenanigans a lot of uploaders would have to close shop you know, we start talking about, hey, side of the street. We let them let us talk about side of the street. Now, some of the people are paid to talk about that, to make it look like it's real. But most of us are not getting paid by these entities, right? No damn well, a side of the street doesn't really exist. It's just there for an excuse. It doesn't matter who what promotional company you're with, right? Yeah, the promotional companies, the head of promotional companies don't get along with other promotional companies and things like that. You know, McDonald's ain't getting along with Burger King and Jack in the Box and them. Right? They ain't going to get along, but at the, end of the day, at the end of the day, it's all burgers. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's all boxing. If the boxers want to fight, it'll happen. You know, and we can say side of the street all of the damn time, but then we could just mention a thousand fights that happen, you know, that were on different side of the streets. Or people that are on the same side of the street and the boxers don't want to fight him, Canelo, right? And they're on the same damn side of the street, then he just won't fight him. You know, Demetrius Andre was on the same side of the street as Canelo. Didn't happen. They wanted Demetrius Andre to fight Jamal Charlo, who was on the other side of the street. You know what I'm saying? That's just an example that just, just to just bring it home. You know, side of the street really doesn't mean nothing unless you want it to mean something. So that's one of the shenanigans, and there's a lot of different other shenanigans that happen in the world of boxing. We just, you know, you have the sanctioning bodies that are in the way that don't enforce their rules or do enforce some rules with other people and other rules they don't. You know, and then you have the obvious, uh, you know, the obvious thing that I talk about, like BTBG that's in boxing. You know, how can I be as cynical uh, when I watch boxing to even name it BTBG? Right, and um, it's because you just watch and you just see that. Well, damn, that's really what it is. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, prove me wrong. You know, I could just constantly say this and this and this happens. So you know, a guy like Alice J, I told you that they're not gonna like him. He's gonna be banned soon here, right? Because I give you an example when I say the WBWS tournament the World Boxing Super Series Tournament, where we're having the tournaments of the best fighters in every division, about the top eight get into a, a tournament, takes about a year and a half to find out who the very best fighter is. Uh, that didn't, you know, it just didn't, didn't last long because people don't want that. The people in boxing, it's, it's not in their interest. And the, and the divas in the sport weren't, weren't gonna get into these tournaments, right? And so that's why that just, it's gone now. No one even mentions it. It, it was a great idea for Kyla Sauerland, and, uh, but it's just the, you know, the way things happen, right? It's like, we don't want that around here. So that's what you're getting. So when you're looking at things from that perspective, you're looking at a turkey alache, and you're like, wow, man, this guy has real, real good, he has real good ideas, real good fights he's trying to get, you know, to, to happen. But... It's not going to happen too long, right? Uh, here's some, something that's going on. For example, we got the big card that's going to come up in L.A. soon. And he's got Terrence Crawford, right? Headlining the big card. America doesn't really like that. They're not going to really want him to headline a big card like that. There's a lot of things going on that card. They're even calling this card one of the best cards 
in the U.S. history, right? And now, Terrence Crawford's fighting Major Majumov and for a belt in his fourth weight division, which would probably make him the first unified champion in four different weight divisions. America's not trying to see that. Trust me, they just constantly don't want Crawford to fight anyone with belts in the fourth division. Everything that Terrence Crawford gets offered is somebody without a belt, right? You know, period. So uh, when you see that, and then you see the fact that what's come today, actually, the newest news, the breaking news is he wants Deontay Wilder to be on this, uh, versus Jared, Jared Anderson, right? Uh, to be on the same card. Now, that's a huge fight. Two heavyweights, one of our, was our top American heavyweight, and the other one is the top American prospect who we think is going to become a champion uh, facing off against each other. Right? And that's another fight he's trying to put on that same card. Right? Now, you know, you got to pay all these people. Now, he's probably uh, capable of doing that. And that's going to be the issue with America not liking him, not wanting him to tell him, no, we don't want these fights. Right? And then he's going to be like, well, I got the money for it. And I, what I hear is that people do want the fights. I'm not going to cater to the few that are not wanting to see these fights because what's going to happen is you're going to have fans that's like well, we don't have nothing against those fights now Deontay Wilder versus Gerard, Jared Anderson is a fight that I don't think is going to happen because Deontay Wilder got to deal with Sheila Shang here re, uh, soon I think in June right he got to deal with Sheila Shang right and I don't see him dealing with Sheila Shang in June and then coming back in August dealing with Jared, uh, Jared Anderson uh, but I'm going to give Deontay Wilder props for just wanting to try to do that at 38 years old to try to deal with Sheila Shang and Jared Anderson in the same quarter of a year. I, you know, just wanting to do that deserves some props, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think a lot of your favorite fighters would do something like that, like that you know, because Jared Anderson is extremely dangerous. He would be the favorite versus Deontay Wilder. Sheila Shang and Deontay Wilder is already a 50-50 fight. How many of your favorite fighters fights 50-50 fight and then fight a next guy who they're going to be an underdog against? Just let me know who your favorite fighter is and see who, that, who would do that. Right? Fight a 50-50 fight because most of the guys that are at the top don't even do that. Period. 50-50 fight and then the next fight be an underdog. If the name is not Alexander Uzik or somebody like that, it ain't going to happen. Now, we could say Terrence Crawford would do that, but the long gone are the days where he's in a 50-50 fight against anybody on planet Earth and then being an underdog against anybody on planet Earth that's not like 80,000 pounds heavier than he is. Anybody in or around his division is not going to be a favorite versus him, right? But anybody else, right? I don't want to say the same name every damn time, but you know, you, you guys know where I'm going with that. Uh, a lot of fighters wouldn't even think about doing stuff like that. But back to band in the USA. Your boy Turkish Alex Shea is going to have problems in a minute here because he's doing a lot of things that fans, real fans of the sport, just fans, just scroll out and take all of those little elements out to reasons why people are arguing in the Internet and just acting a damn fool and don't want these fights. Take all of those elements out and just say, hey, it's a sport. Right, we watching the playoffs in a sport. Then the guy is right. Just damn it, give us the fights we want to see. And if he's doing that, we don't care who it is. Do you really care where somebody signed at? Right, oh, well, he signed with this and he's done this and he signed with that. You don't care. Who are you going to fight? Look at the rankings, look at the list of the best in every weight division, and you kind of want them to fight. If you don't, something else is going on with you. Right, you 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 know you're directly affiliated with these people, and you don't want them to. Uh, you know, I can understand like if you was a family member of a fighter, and you think it well, damn, you know, I'd rather him go out there and fight somebody easy and come home safe. You're not in these arguments because you have a different. You know, you have something, a whole different thing. You have a a horse in the race. You have a reason to not want your family member to get hurt or come home, and and don't be hurt. You know what I'm saying? With all his faculties. That's totally different. But us out that don't know the guys, that are just fans, hey, man, he's good, and he's good, or he has a belt, and he has a belt. 
she's the best. Oh, and she is too. Let's have them face off. That's just the natural reaction of a sport fan, right? We complicated with all that old crap and let them tell us the complicated. People be in here arguing about what, what side of the street somebody on and what they, serve, what they um, signed at. Damn it, you good and you good. Can y'all fight to find out who's the best so, me, so we, if sport fans can argue about it? That's what we do. That's why it's a thousand debate shows on TV. Because sport fans like to argue about who's the best. Who knew, who knew who was the best before the other one knew who was the best. That's what we do. That's what we're arguing about. That's what this is all about. You know, well, nobody really hates none of these fighters or shouldn't, right? If you, you know, and, and actually, what, where they come from and, and all that old stuff, man, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't you know, because my, my favorite fighter, uh, Lennox Lewis, don't really even have a home, does he? I mean, Lennox Lewis is you know, English by way of Canada and Jamaica and all kind of other stuff. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think that's the best heavyweight I've ever seen. I got him against anybody. You know what I'm saying? Right now, Alexander Uzik is all that. I like me some Joseph Parker. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I really don't care. You know, I'm Deontay Wilder. I roll with Deontay Wilder, and a lot is because, you know what? To be 212 to 15 pounds and knocking out people about 30 pounds heavier than you, 25, 30 pounds heavier than you, with not too much boxing skill or knowledge, I don't understand how people don't don't like that. I just I just don't get it. You know, normally we go for David, not Goliath. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you know, Deontay Wilder back to him too. You got to you got to give him love for wanting to fight <laughs> Sheila Shane, who's going to outweigh him by another 50 pounds, and then try to go into Jared Anderson after that. That's crazy. But thanks to uh, Turkey Alashe, some of these things can uh, you know become real for us. So yeah, well let's not ban Turkey Alashe. Tucky Alice J is just trying to give us some sport. And if we're sport fans, then damn, we should love it. And we shouldn't ban the man. But let's see what happens. Banned in the USA, he'll be. <laughs> Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.